Hi, this is Lena, and this book is book number 43 on my 100 book goal. It is called Literally, a book about a book about falling in love, and it's by Lucy Keating. Um, I got this book um, suggestion from Epic Reads when I was looking online. First of all, this, this is kind of probably one of my favorite books I've read in a while. I liked it quite a bit. It, um, it's written like realistic fiction, but it kind of blurs the line of realistic fiction and, um, and fantasy, I guess, kind of. Uh, so the premise of this story is um, the character, Annabelle, has lived a life and she is a senior in high school and up until this point her life has been um, virtually perfect. Um, this is a child who does everything she should, works ahead of time, has a schedule, keeps everything on track, very type A personality, um, and she is all of a sudden um, in a class that she doesn't really care to be in, but it has to do with um, being in a fiction writing class. So in this class, she um, meets an author who, as she comes in, um, she starts to realize that as this author is talking about a new book that she's fixing to publish, that it very closely mimics Annabelle's life. And so when she confronts the author, she is told and figures out that her life that she has always known and taken for granted is actually being written by this author. So it's kind of a very um, metacognitive feel, a very meta book and concept in that the characters in the book know that they're characters in a book. And they don't necessarily like the fact that someone else is writing their story and they want to take charge and take ownership and be in charge of their own decisions. So there is, of course, a love triangle um, because the book is virtually, um, and it's funny because as they're talking about the book, the story, they're talking about it in a way that is a book. So it's, it's, it's kind of, it almost reminded me of um, when people write about time travel, you have to constantly think about the perception and how you're writing and how your reader is going to respond. So um, reading it, I'm sure when Lucy Keating, who is the author, and in the book is the author of the book, um, she probably had to to kind of keep going back and reminding herself and thinking just to keep everything straight. It's like, oh, the, you know, the characters are aware that they're characters, so what would they think? And if they're interacting with the author, how does it change if they then talk to the author and what could they just write into the story? Um, so anyway, I tend to be rambling about this, but um, I really liked this book because, like I said, I read tons and tons, and anytime I come across one that is written in a different way or has a different slant or different angle and just makes me see things from a different perspective, I'm always appreciative of that. So kudos to Lucy Keating um, and this concept and this book. I really liked it. So I'm going to give this one five out of five stars because... It just sat well with me and I liked it. So check it out. Lucy Keating, literally.